Hello and welcome back to the Crew 2 Car Showcase. This time we're going to be taking a look at the 2013 Ferrari F12 Berlinetta that is in the game. A extremely beautiful car that I have customized with the, I believe it's called Tricolori or however you pronounce that. Sorry, I'm going to blame myself for being an American here and not knowing how to pronounce a, a French word. But basically the Italian flag going down the center of the car as well as on the chrome custom mirrors here with the color uh, this is obviously something that they do in real life them being ferrari they do that spec with the flag down the middle so somebody recreated it in game and i decided that it was a great thing to put on the car um, so in the last car showcase i kind of just rambled for a little bit at the beginning and took it and took off in the car but i think a cool part of this game is they offer customization options in the game which i've done to the car so i thought it'd be cool to kind of show those off as well so if you're looking to um, get the car in game you can go ahead and decide for yourself so we'll just look through the visual parts so there's only two options for the hood uh, personally i prefer the base hood not the carbon fiber hood just because of the design, uh, the flag going down the middle that I absolutely love. So it would be really weird not to have that on there for me. Uh, front bumper, you have a lot of options. I'm personally a stickler for those Ferrari like stock lights, but um, they let you change uh, pretty much it's all carbon fiber right there, which is really cool. Um, so you definitely have a lot of options for what you want to do. This I'm not a huge fan of. It like extends the, the body a little bit more. And there's, uh, there's definitely a couple of those that do that. And maybe I'll come around to liking that a little bit more. But for like right now, I don't really want to. Um, these are, those are the stock Ferrari rims. Obviously, you're going to have some other options that are non-Ferrari. But I feel like personally, you're going to want to stick to something with that Ferrari uh, horse on it. Because who doesn't love the prancing horse? Then you can obviously change the caliper colors. I went with a red to match the Ferrari red. And I kept it the normal Ferrari red because... That's just iconic to have that classic Ferrari red, especially in a video game. It's just, there's something about that classic Ferrari red. Um, and then for the side mirrors, uh, you have the normal uh, paint that matches the car, or you can have the carbon fiber ones, which I pref definitely prefer the, the carbon fiber ones. Uh, side skirts here, stock or carbon fiber, rear wing, a couple of different options. This, I don't want to see anybody using this. This is sacrilege right here. Enzo Ferrari will come back out of the grave and tell you to knock it off um but uh you have your stock one right here which is just um color match the car carbon fiber one that goes on over the top of it and then obviously the grotesque like over the top one uh some different bumper options not many uh this is terrible that's like all carbon fiber right there but uh you know everyone has their own opinion on what they like i like the stock base back of the ferrari and then the interior color i went for this um kind of like black and red uh so basically when i'm driving i don't see the red but if i look around in the car i can see the the red and then they i think red and black accents the car really well especially with the carbon fiber i wish i could do carbon fiber interior like the the tire uh the part that's black on the dash if that was all carbon fiber or something it'd be really cool uh, it's probably like alcantara or something if we're thinking real life here and what they kind of base it off of so those are the customization options that you can do from there obviously the official colors for the car if you know anything about ferrari you'll know all of these colors and then you can obviously go between the all the other colors that exist in the game and then different liveries um, i recommend kind of going to the top 100 and seeing what they have because that's where i got this one from but sometimes man some of these are bad but then other times you know you get like the the black down the middle this is obviously my favorite, so it's the one I'm using. But if you're looking for customization or even customize your own, you can do that as well. Um, I'm not a person who really wants to customize it myself, uh, but that's what that is. And then obviously performance is just the parts that I have on it. So right now, top speed is 217 and 850 brake horsepower. Um, stock, this car is in-game stock is 211 top speed and 750 brake horsepower i believe are the stats so let's go ahead and get out of here i will turn back on the audio in game because there's literally this blaring thing on behind me that constantly just goes and there's no way to turn it off when you're in here and i thought it would be cool to show it off so let's get out on the road drive this thing we'll take a look at the exterior first and then we'll go interior wise so you've already seen the exterior so we'll just kind of go around it real quick 
give you an idea of the car. You know, this is, this is definitely modeled very well. And you can obviously tell it's uh, it's got some power behind it. I don't know how the and then the over the top downshift as well. Um, I don't know specifically how the F12 really sounds, but I don't imagine it's too far off. The crew is pretty good about having cars sound similar to how they sound in real life. And nope, oh, that's me and the the four GT just flying by for a challenge apparently. Um, so then we'll go interior and you can see the interior. I think the crew does a really good job of modeling interiors. Um, it's just well done. I don't see, I don't think the red is overdone. I think having just looking at the black and then kind of looking around, you can see it. We even got like Ferrari in the dash over there. It's kind of like, kind of like a pearlescent thing going on. It kind of like when I move around, you can see like the color changes, which is really cool from the entire dash. It's like the light source is changing in game, so it does that. It's really cool. And then obviously you have your dash. You have your speedometer on the left. You have your tachometer in the middle. And then you got all your just other stuff on the side right there. You got steering wheels. I'm a big stickler for like a cool looking steering wheel. And I think Ferrari is definitely up there. I think I love the Audi steering wheel, like the RS steering wheel that's in the R8 and the TT. And you'll hear me mention that a lot. But... I also have the 4GT steering wheel, but I think um, either second or third favorite for me is the Ferrari that is mingling with the Ford. I think the Audi one is my favorite, but I love a nice Ferrari steering wheel. I love the Ferrari logo. I think also helps, same reason I really like the Audi one, is um, the color options with the reds. It just makes you feel like you're in a fighter jet with the engine start right there. Um, it's just really nice. Also, the turn signals being on the steering wheel. I wish just every car did that because it's just... Super convenient. I believe that might have... I don't know what car that started in. I think it was Ferrari that started doing that on all of theirs. So we'll just drive around with the interior view for uh, for a minute or two here. Give you an idea. Obviously, Crew 2, as I mentioned every time, is not realistic. So it allows us to... We can, like, drift pretty easily in every car in the game. Whereas, you know, a car like this, you're not drifting around a corner. You're going to be braking and then... If we we're on a racetrack or something, you're gonna hit the apex and then go. But obviously that's not the type of game uh, this is. It didn't try to pretend it was. It's very much arcadey, but uh, it's still really fun. And we hit that car. So we won't be going to the exterior review because now it's damaged on the exterior. But it's a, uh, it's a really nice looking car and uh, it's not ultraly expensive. I think it's a nice, Kind of like base car to get in game if you're looking for something uh, high performance kind of is like an upgrade from the stock cars that you get at the beginning for the from the tt the mustang or i think it was a mazda is the other one you unlock so i think it's a really nice upgrade um base it's like 220 230 something like that so you can beat all of the the races super easily and without any type of issues or hassles um, and it's just really fun to drive. I switch in and out of first person and third person in this game uh, Just because I'm not using a racing wheel for it. So I like using both and it's just a really nice looking car, especially with the The Italian flag down the middle of it. It's just a beast of a car And I love the the red calipers as well The red and the the yellow the Ferrari yellow. It just it matches so well. I really like the car so, um, yeah, I think that's just kind of a nice showcase on the car. Um, there's a lot of these that I want to do because there's a lot of awesome cars in this game um, that are modeled really well. Um, I, I just, I wish it didn't do the over-the-top backfiring, but it is what it is. And you can hear how this car accelerates. So, uh, yeah. If uh what other other cars you want to see let me know um, i'm planning on doing the mclaren p1 that you get from beating the ultimate challenge as well as uh doing the audi r8 v10 plus because i'm an audi fanboy and i want to talk about the steering wheel so um definitely do that and oh i made it let's go um doing that and then whatever else you guys want to see probably the a couple of other ferraris that are in the game 
Uh, maybe some other stuff that I look at as I get it. A um, couple of Conan Segs are in the game that I definitely want to look at. Um, the Porsche GT3 RS is in the game as well. I believe that's the one that's in the game. I'm not. I know there's a couple of Porsches in the or Porsches in the game as well. So I'll have to look at those as well. But um, let me know what you would uh, like to see in terms of this as other content for the crew too as well because it's a game that I'm really much enjoying right now and hopefully that lasts a while and hopefully they release uh, decently regular content patches and updates for the game as well as new cars which um, they did in the original so I expect them to do the same as well as having the season pass so I can get them all and I absolutely love that um, so uh, yeah thanks for watching if you enjoyed leave a like subscribe do all that jazz and I'll see you in the next video